Hi guys, Hyperlatter here, the Norwegian gamer, and I've got some awesome news for you. Now, it's not related to me, but it's related to PC gaming. I I'm a bit hyped right now, so <laughs> I might sound a little cheery. First things first. If you haven't, start Steam and update the client. In the latest uh, client update, they have changed the uh, audio codec they use for voice chat to Silk. Now, Silk is the audio codec that is used in Skype. So, now we're going to get just as good call quality in um, Steam as we do in Skype, which is awesome. And it also means that the bandwidth usage of the Steam client is going to go down, and it's going to be just as efficient as Skype. So, that means you can... Uh, you don't have to run Skype to get good audio quality that doesn't suck up the whole um, bandwidth. That's the first thing. Second thing. Very soon, ac uh, according to Gabe Newell, uh, the head of Valve who makes Steam and the whole service, according to Gabe Newell, there will be a recording feature in Steam very soon. That means that now, now you can take screenshots, but that means that in the future you will be able to do recordings of your gameplay. Now, there hasn't been said anything about when it's going to come and how beefy it's going to be, how many features it have and has, or if it's up to par with, say, Fraps or Play Claw. But the thing is. Uh, but the thing that it's there is awesome, so I'm really looking forward to that. To put it, uh, to put it lightly, <laughs> that can be really awesome. That you don't have to run extra software. All you need is just Steam, and it'll take screenshots for you. It'll record um, uh, gameplays for you. Everything just in Steam in one big bundle. It, it'll probably make Steam run a little heavier. But then again, you can actually exclude other software. Uh, running on your computer, so it might add up, if you know what I mean. I'm, I'm really stoked. That is going to be awesome. <laughs> um, the third thing is, there is rumors about Steam expanding to mobile platforms. So, now we've got Steam for on Windows and on OS X on the Mac, but there's also rumors of... Steam expanding into the mobile world with on iOS and Android. What it's going to do there, I would guess that it's going to be something in along the lines of Game Center or um, uh, what's it called? Oh, the other service. Uh, I don't remember the name of it right now, but you know, it's the kind of thing that Steam does on the computer where you can add support for Steam in your iPhone or Android game and it'll keep track of friends for you it'll probably make it a make it possible to chat with your friends um, I would uh, you would get achievements uh, you can could keep, keep track of the achievements you know the this, this stuff that Steam does and also uh, Xbox Live does very very well so that could be really interesting the only thing is and, uh, is that I'm a bit unsure if they're actually going to get any traction. Um, up until now, Steam on the Mac is not that big, but then again, the hardcore gaming market on the Mac isn't that big from be to begin with, so that may not be a good indicator. But with the release of the Mac App Store, um, a lot of games has been released there instead of on or not, not not necessarily instead of but it has been released there in cl uh, in addition to steam so games like yeah, modern warfare 2 no pardon uh first modern warfare um call of duty uh, borderlands and some other games have actually been launched in the app store now i'm not saying that's a bad thing by all means it just means that games are getting out to more players which is a good thing the downside is though that it might not get as much traction in Steam but then again if you're a hardcore gamer on the Mac you'll probably download Steam anyway because of the community features that it brings and you can actually play with your friends and 
chat with them and now voice chat with very good quality. Yes. Um, but the thing is, uh, on iOS, you've already got the Game Center, which I mentioned, which pretty much does the same thing. It keeps track of your friends. It gives the ability to add achievements to a centralized system that keeps track of track for you. And I'm not sure if Steam is going to get the traction that it needs when Game Center is already that well integrated into the iOS operating system. However, the big upside for Steam is, however, that they've got a huge audience on desktops already. So while they might be in very hard competition against Game Center on iOS, and as you might or might not remember, when iOS was launched, it actually pretty much killed um, the competition. Because who would want to use that when you just when you got the um, Game Center integrated into the iOS and it's just an API call from iOS and it's just there, more or less. I'm just saying. But you know, we'll we'll see. On the Android side, however. I think they can actually do pretty well. I mean, we have already got other comp uh, comp uh, competitors, but I do still believe that Steam can survive and actually do something on its own merits. And um, it'll be interesting to see if they um, can manage to do something on the mobile platforms. So that's it for now. I just thought it was so... <laughs> when I read this, I thought it was so awesome. So the first thing I did, I made a video about it. <laughs> well, that's it for now, guys. I uh, hope to see you next time. Snuckies.